financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is Solve My Tax Problem, Please. Brian Small, good morning. Good morning, Ken. Jeff I'm, Linden, good morning. I'm trying to stay awake for this one. Kelsey Samantha. Good, good morning. morning. Settle down. You think solving tax problems is boring? I, I think that, Try it that it can be. You've probably <laughs> never had a tax problem. Uh, God, I hope I don't have a tax problem, but I like to solve them for people. But I usually use bankruptcy to solve tax problems. Jeff is the one that uses the Internal Revenue Manual, which I started reading something the other day and nearly fell asleep about in the middle of the manual. Okay. I've, I've I, I got a solution for many his, tax problems. His, his tiredness and his, his apathy. We'll just let him deal with the IRS the next time. No, I mean, no. Non-bankruptcy oh, no, see absolutely how, see not. See how relaxed he is So <laughs> what, let's talk about tax problems. What are the type... Well, let, me do it, so, let me kind of introduce what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about people who have unfiled tax return issues, people that owe money in taxes, and people that have a problem because of an audit. Basically what I cover. Three simple topics, but there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. Let's start with, I would say, the most common, there's, there's two most common tax problems we see every day. Person calls us up or comes in and says, I haven't filed my returns in eight years. And yeah. the other one is, they file their returns, but I owe the IRS money and I don't have enough to pay. Would you agree that those are the two most common? Yeah. Let's talk about the unfiled returns. How does this happen? Oh, it's very Did easy. you ever not file your tax return? I'm the wrong person to ask. No, I He's file my tax returns probably by the middle of February every year. So when yeah. do you file your returns? It depends on whether I'm owed or getting money back. I don't like the government to take the interest. If I can get if I'm getting a refund, I want it sooner. And you? I do it as early as possible, right when Brian sends me a Christmas card saying, Happy Holidays, file your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy if you're a W-2 employee and you have a refund coming to make sure you file your taxes by April 15th at the latest because you're getting a refund. I can tell you, for the sake of the audience, it seems as though obviously Brian doesn't understand having tax issues. So if you want Brian understands if you want to know, if you want Brian some just isn't going to put himself if in you that want position. some empathy, I can tell you that until I think two years ago, I had never filed my return by April fifteenth. I had gone on extension to October fifteenth every year since I started paying taxes. It wasn't until. I completely complied with the three-point retirement plan that I was in a position where I'm actually filing my returns before April 15th because I'm getting a refund. Until then, I had never gotten a refund. From the time I was 19 years old forward, I was always writing a check on October 15th. Oh, I'm always writing a check, unfortunately, and but I'm not, it I'm not getting a refund. I would love one. It, it always stressed me out because basically I was self-employed. And when you're self-employed, you have to pay your taxes on your own through your current income. It's not withheld. Right. And if you fall behind, there's pressure. There's always pressure. Now, I never fell behind, although I did have a period where I was a victim of an audit and had to pay a boatload of money back over a period of time. And that wasn't fun. But I understand the process. And so does Brian, and so does Jeff. Kelsey, you're going to learn the process. But here's the question. Unfiled, unfiled returns I never did. And the yep. reason? 
because if you don't file your return on time, there's a 25% penalty, 5% a month for the first five months, which goes like that. And, and just for Why everybody waste money? to understand, on time either means by the original due date, or if you file an extension, on time means by the extended due date. So generally, approximately April 15th of every year and October 15th of every year for your individual consumer tax returns. So the question is, so I'm giving you me as the example and said, although I always went on an extension, I always filed my time, return on time because I know what the rules are and I wasn't going to subject myself to a 25% penalty. So the question is, why do some people not file? Answer, I think, is simple. I don't have the money to pay. Right. If I don't file the return, they won't they find won't, me. They won't they find won't me. Know. Or yeah. I don't have the money to pay. I can't deal with the pressure. I don't want to think about it. And all of a sudden, they just don't do it. Right. Not yeah. consciously worried about they're not going to find me. The, they just are avoiding you, you, you the know, issue. You know, I'm going to add, there is beyond the I don't have the, fi the money to pay. There's a lot of people that don't have the money to file, to pay someone to file and help them. So be aware that the Internal Revenue Service will help you prepare your tax returns for you. They may not be as aggressive with the return as you might like them to be, but you can schedule an appointment downtown at the IRS and they will help you prepare a return. There's also a number of free software sources online. The IRS has a newer one now. Um, you know, some of the older tax software companies have, have free um, I have a things little, to go online. Short if story your returns are simple and you are a wage earner and you don't have a lot of other it's expenses, easy to do. it's easy to do. If you have a more complicated financial life, I don't recommend you need to it. get you need to get a prepared to, get to do it. And you right. should have a CPA do it if it's a if it's a Correct. complicated scenario. Little short story on the returns. When my kids were little and they had income, I said, you know what? I'll do their returns for them on the computer using like TurboTax or whatever. That was so time consuming to do a short little return where they had right. one W two, and you know. So I did it on the computer for one. And then I did it by hand on the other. The computer, it was like an hour and a half of answering questions yeah. to get a two-page return. Doing it by hand took about four minutes. So you got to measure the that. The computer don't know how simple your return is until you get to the end. Yeah. So, but let's all right. But the big question is: so you don't file the return that's due in 2021, and then 2022 comes up, and let's take a break and we'll talk about it. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. Worth Ave Gross, our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. The doctors ask if dad's affairs are in order. Did dad ever talk to you about what we should do in a situation like this? Not a word. What should we do? We should have called Samasco. Don't wait. All it takes is a quick call to Samasco Law or go online and fill out a request. We can get your needs and wishes set in stone so your family doesn't have to play a guessing game when the chips are down. Protect what matters. For power of attorney, call Samasco Law today. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. 
If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Yeah. Okay, so 2021, return doesn't get filed. 2022 comes up. 2022 comes up and the guy who didn't file the 21 return says, oh no, if I file my 22 return, they're going to know I didn't file my 21 return. Now and, I'm even more scared. Right, and so he doesn't file so the, doesn't 22. File the 22. Return. And wait, wait, I'll bet you then he doesn't file the 23. Well, because by 23, now he's like not only afraid of them finding him, but now he's like, hey, I didn't file my 21 return. Do you want to make a better 22 return? And nothing horrendous happened to me yet. So yes. I can not file the next one too because nothing bad's going to happen. So are you saying he didn't file 2024 either? Well, 2024 isn't due yet because it is 2024. I was trying to trick you into saying It's not yes, that early. Then, then, then I was going to clobber you for making that <laughs> statement. So that situation can ends up being eight, nine years of unfiled tax returns. Easy. And then it adds more. Then the person says, then this is what happens. They stop, you stop, you lose sleep. Because you try and go to sleep, and you start hearing the commercials about the from the radio about do you have tax problems? IRS is going to come after you. They're going to do all these bad, horrible things to you. Blah 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 blah. And that, and you're trying to sleep, and that's going through your mind. And then you're saying, I need to get a hold of it. I need to get a handle on this. But then you say to yourself, I don't have the records. And you're sitting saying, I don't have the records. I can't file the returns. What do I do? And then you start taking melatonin and things like that to try and sleep because you can't sleep. Well, remember this. The if fallacy a, is what? Well, wait. If you're a W-2 employee, the records are easy to order from the Internal Revenue Service. They have copies of them because your employer already sent them the equivalent copy of the documents well, that they gave to you. That's the fallacy. Is the, if you don't have your records, the fallacy of if I don't file, they won't know is the fallacy. Because if you're a W-2 employer, you get 1099s, they already know. They may not get around so to you. So even if you're not a W-2 know. employee, if you're an independent contractor, right. you got 1099s, and they know about those they, as well. They know you about see, those you're too. stepping on his area. Yeah. You were cr you crossed the line once stay again. Stay on your page, okay, man. Okay, I'll stay on my page. <laughs> hey, wait. Anyway, Who can no, have it? That's no. your page. I got my page right here. You keep your page over there. Never, <laughs> never deface a law and reality outline. That is a violation. The only other, the only person who can bat? do that Where's the bat? is Pat Samasco, and he's not here because he takes the outline and throws it under the table. Let's just remind everybody, after the show, these end up in the recycling bin. So... I'm just saying. So, but, but back to it. So, so, so the IRS already knows, but that's, while well, that's Yes, bad, but do they really know? Check it. Do <laughs> they really know? They do know. They're And what do you know. do about it? They will do about it, if, when they get around to it, they will file what's called, what we call an SFR, which is called the substitute for return, which is the IRS will file the, your return for you. What they don't know are your legitimate deductions, other so than the So SFR deductions. stands for... Return? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm, I, I'm impressed that they came up with that, that, those, uh, that acronym. Yeah. It's a good name for it. Yeah. But the thing is, is that... How bad is that? It's, it's bad. very bad. First of all, they're always overstated. So you, if they file a substitute for return for you, you're likely to owe more tax than you would have had you filed your own. Two, they don't take... Because the, they don't give you the They don't deductions. give you all the deductions except the standard deduction. If a substitute for return is filed for you, it eliminates options for resolution that you have. For that year, you're no longer eligible for bankruptcy ever. Even if you amend your return, file your return later, that year's debt can never be discharged in bankruptcy. Are you going to let him say that? Well, I stepped on his toes a little bit. He can step on mine. But the fact is, is like, that... I need a brace for my foot. He just has to bandage his little A substitute toe. for return... <laughs> 
is never dischargeable in bankruptcy and a subsequently filed return which may lower your tax liability also is not dischargeable. So this is, a, this is a really big important thing and we have to put it in perspective. Income taxes are dischargeable in bankruptcy if, in certain circumstances. Right. They have right. to have been at least, they have to come due at least three years ago. They had to have been filed for at least two years and you haven't, you couldn't have been assessed in the previous eight months. So it's important here is if, when you when you talk to one of these tax resolution firms, they always want to put you into either a offer and compromise to resolve the debt, which we'll talk about shortly, which is a good program in certain circumstances, yes, but it has absolutely. shortfalls. But they'll never tell you that income taxes are dischargeable in bankruptcy because they don't do, do bankruptcy. bankruptcy. Right. If your income taxes are dischargeable in bankruptcy, that's the best deal for getting out from the tax liability because you pay zero and there's no look back rule. The offer and compromise, which is a good program, if you qualify, you can settle your tax debt for pennies on the dollar. But if you don't stay clean, file your returns on time for five years in a row and pay the taxes when they're due, they revoke the offer and compromise and reassess the taxes, something that they don't tell you about. Well, and that's well, hopefully your that, attorney no, tells you about it. That can be a big problem. It. The tax resolution guys yeah, don't tell you about that. That can be a big problem <laughs> because most people that have tax problems are self-employed. They don't have withholding to pay their taxes, and they're always trying to pay their current year's their last year's taxes with their current year's income rather than paying their you, current you know, year's taxes with their current income. I'll tell you right. something, you know, obviously self-employed get in that problem, but I'll tell you, you know who else is having that problem that, that, that. lately? Is people will start to manipulate their withholdings even on their paychecks because, because the price of everything's gone up so much, they're not bringing in enough cash to cover their household expenses. So, so they're, they're claiming two and eight yeah, exemptions. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll borrow, they from, they borrow from their uncle so that they can have yeah. food on their table. And then they get into a tax problem. Oh yeah. So tax. once you get in, so let's say filing the returns. The simple solution on unfiled returns. It's, it's, it's going to sound almost funny. You know what our solution is? Um, we file the returns. Right. If we don't have the information, we get it from the IRS, what well, they have, the thing and I we can estimate say. your expenses. Right. Nothing wrong with estimating, and you file the return. And once the return's filed, that problem is gone. Then we have to deal with paying the tax, which we will resolve in the next segment. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You know, Dad made us promise we would never put him in a nursing home. I know, but he found that new caregiver on the internet, and I'm getting worried. Don't worry, honey. I know just how to take care of you. I'm sure you do. Maybe it's time to call Samasco Law. You know, I've heard of them. All my friends on Facebook use them. Take the stress out of your family's future. Reach out to Samasco Law and set a course through life's difficult times. Samasco Law, protecting what means most because that's what we do. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Time for announcements. Oh, and I announce we've opened, Thav Gross has opened a new office downriver in the Horizon Building on Eureka Road. So now we're in Flint, downriver, and also our home office in Bingham Farms. Remember, you can always come in for a free consultation. You can do it by Zoom conference, in the office, any way that works best for you. Just call 888-235-HELP or go to the website, thavgross.com, to sign up. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business law issues, elder law issues with Pat or Kelsey, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner. 
Again, sign up at lawandreality.com or thavgross.com or just call 888-235-HELP. Also, if you go to the website, you'll see there's free, report, free reports. Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions by Jeff Linden and myself. Bankruptcy, Is It Right for Me by Brian Small. How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure. Business Formations, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan. And The Retiree's Guide to Social Security by uh, Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Stav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. All right, we're back. Kelsey, you had a question. Yeah, so if you do that offer and compromise strategy to try to, you know, eliminate some of your tax problems, what then happens? You know, I agree that I'm going to pay the IRS $10,000. Can I then file for bankruptcy to make that $10,000 debt go away? No, not, well, it depends, like everything, but while your offer is in place, uh, no, it tolls the ability to file bankruptcy at that time. But uh, what we were talking about at the break, and Brian will illuminate more, is if your tax debt was eligible before you filed your offer for bankruptcy, if you default, the portion that was previously eligible for bankruptcy would again be eligible for bankruptcy at that time. But anything that accrued in the period of the offer while it was pending would be frozen for that period of time, and that time limit would be extended out. So. Translation. So, simplify sometimes, it so we can move on. Sometimes filing a bankruptcy, even though the debts may be dischargeable in bankruptcy on their face, may not be an available choice. You might have too much equity in your home. You might have a situation where you don't want to file bankruptcy because you, well, you might not be eligible because you can't. You filed a previous bankruptcy and discharging them isn't an available option for another three, four years. Whatever the reason is, the strategy says, we're going to put you in an offer because it makes sense. But if you fail out of that offer, where you're possibly able to discharge those taxes If they were dischargeable point? before, they'd right. be if dischargeable they, after. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Now, uh, cause we're, we're getting, uh, I want to But if cover, they were I dischargeable get, I before, get to some other you points. have to wait till the statute of limitations runs out. Gotcha. So they become dischargeable. Okay. We're open. Open wide. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> Seems a little fishy okay. to me. All right, here, back to it. What, what I want to uncover is, so if you have that tax liability, how do we resolve it? Ways. Offering uh, compromise. Right. Discharging the taxes in bankruptcy or... With Chapter 7 plans. or Chapter 13. Yes. Or payment, payment plans. plans. Here's the point. They are all available options that will allow you to continue to live comfortably and sleep well. You're not going to have to pay every penny that you have so that you don't have money to put food on the table. The whole problem that people get into with a tax problem is a thought process that they can't pay the taxes and if the IRS gets a hold of them, they're not going to be able to live. It's a fallacy. It's a fallacy that is further pushed by the companies that want you to come in because they want to agitate you to call. That's okay, I understand the process, but what you need to realize, if you have this problem, it is easy to resolve with the proper help. 
if the returns are unfiled, we file them. Once we file them, your taxes are assessed. We then put you into either an offer and compromise, we discharge the taxes in bankruptcy, or we get you a payment plan based upon what you can afford. Or even get you into a situation where you're currently Clearly not collectible. collectible. So and you don't need a bankruptcy, you're paying nothing but you pay nothing. You, yeah. You pay nothing. And we leverage, there's a statute of limitations. There's a time limit that the IRS has to collect assessed debt. That continues to run out. So there are many times when we leverage one or more of these things to get the clock to, to get to, to keep the clock running and keep you uh, surviving and floating and then the statute of limitations runs and chunks of debt slide off into the so event. there's clever things we do to further facilitate a positive outcome but the most important point is if you're sitting with that problem don't just let it metast metastasize Right. Do something about it. You're making you, you're you're living in misery for no reason. It's a solvable problem. Last thing to cover: audits. You. If you get audited, what you is have to show audit? up. What is an audit? IRS just chooses to examine your return to verify whether it's been accurately prepared, and if not, they can assess you for additional tax. So if you have a comp if you have a business uh, business return that gets audited, IRS will come in and audit. Auditors tend to be difficult. They like to deny deductions and then give you a report that says this is the amount you owe. Here's the document. Sign it. Right. This is a fatal mistake of just taking the document and thinking, well, I guess I don't have any choice in signing it. Then they assess you for all the taxes and you find out they've they've denied all your deductions. That's not what you want to do. Before you sign that, you need to make sure you've talked to either your tax advisor, your CPA who handled the audit, or a lawyer like us to look at it to see, did you get a fair deal? Because chances are you may not have. Classic example, truck driver comes in, doesn't have, any, doesn't have good receipts, doesn't have any documentation for the truck. The IRS auditor denies all the deductions, only picks up the income, assesses them $100,000 of tax for three years. And you said to him, why didn't you allow him any expenses? Well, he didn't have the receipts. Well, do you think he drove a truck without gas? Do you think that truck moved without oil? Do you think he never ate a meal while he was on the road? You can infer those expenses based upon the occupation and still get a deduction. The auditor's not going to do it for you because the auditor just wants to move on. You have to assert it yourself. You have to fight the audit, and there are procedures to do so, and you don't just trust them. You trust your advisors, not the government. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Water Reality.